Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Valparaiso Football Preview along with head coach Dave Cicchini. This is Todd Eichow. We uh, start by taking a look back at, at Saturday. Certainly a great first half. Very much in the ball game against first place Dayton and then kind of an unfortunately similar situation popped up where they, they got to the best in the second half. Let's talk about first overcoming the 14-0 mm -hmm. deficit. Obviously great play in the second quarter. And what took place after that? Yeah, no, I think uh, you know we, we started out the game. We played great defense with the exception of third downs. Uh, we put Dayton continually in, in, in third down and medium to third down long situations, and unfortunately they were seven of seven starting off the game. So those first two drives, we made them earn everything that they uh, that they could, and and uh, they they were able to have two uh, good scoring drives on their part. And then our defense really stiffened up, and our offense responded. Uh, had two really nice drives, uh, one aided by a turnover, which was a, a great job by our defense, uh, and we were able to tie it up, and, and uh, uh, they were able to get uh, Dayton uh, got a field goal right before half. So we went in halftime uh, down by three, but really felt like we were in great shape you know, against a, an outstanding Dayton football team. David, let's focus on maybe two or three key things that seem to be happening week after week after week, and, and what can be done to change them yeah. with a month left still in the season. Uh, let's let's first start with uh, the ability to make adjustments early in the game, and it seems like after the first drive or so, you guys seem to find rhythm, mm -hmm. uh, and it seems like going to the half, obviously the, the, the good feelings, but the problems that you talk about, unable to stop teams on third down, mm -hmm and unable to come out of the locker room and play with the same ability you did in, in, right. in the second quarter. Let's yep. start with the third downs. It, it, this has been going on kind of all year yeah, long. Yeah, and, and What do you make of it? Yeah, so this week uh, we did a great job second half. I mean, our defense uh, kept them one for eight. Uh, really, after those first two drives, uh, Dayton was one for eight for the rest of the game. We had one drive uh, in, in the second, opening up in the second uh, half. Unfortunately, we had a fourth down and seven uh, on defense. and. And uh, Dayton made a great throw and a, and, a, and a great route. It was man coverage, and, and uh, uh, it was a play that they were able to capitalize on, and they were able to knock it in from there. And, and uh, so defensively, we felt like uh, we gave really four quarters uh, in, in this game. And, and, and statistically, we did a really good job against a, a fairly decent uh, Dayton team. On the offensive side of the ball, it, it was just a nightmarish three uh, possessions in that third quarter where we had uh, three straight turnovers, you know, one the result of just a bad read by a young quarterback lets the ball go trying to force it in a window that's not there, uh, one where B Hall's running up the middle and gets a stinger and his entire arm that he's holding the ball in goes numb and the ball drops right into, bounces right into the hands of the linebacker. And then an unfortunate, uh, we're, we're motioning to run one of our jet sweeps and, and uh, the quarterback sends the uh, a freshman wide receiver in motion just a, a tenth of a second early and and uh, our, our timing is just a little bit screwed up so instead of the quarterback catching the snap the ball goes off the wrist of the receiver in motion and that bounces right to, to the, the uh, to the defense and that gets returned so our defense really had their backs against the wall you know that entire third quarter and really uh, did the best that they could and, and, like I said, played a great game. But anytime you put yourself in a hole like that with three straight turnovers in a tight game, uh, it's hard to dig yourself out of that. And, and let's be fair, the defense really, after those first two drives, played well. You look yes. up on the score, they score oh, yeah. 44 points, and it's you shake your head right. whether we gave up 44 points. But really nothing, hard to fault the defense at all in the second right. half. Right, I mean, exactly. Put in impossible and, situations. Yeah. And we had a couple of guys step up and had uh, great games. John Guilford played probably uh, his best game. Uh, Tristan De La Rosa played his best game. Uh, so we were much better uh, with the physical aspect on defense, and, and I think that's where we should be because we do have some older players. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, we just, we're just we dying to get some consistency on the offensive line. We've had gone into each game here uh, with uh, some key players down, guys unable to get healthy, shuffling guys around, trying new things. We just have so many young players there. And again, I think there's a lot of promise there. But just as the course of the game goes on, uh, you know, physically we're getting a little overwhelmed right now. And how about the overall health of the team? Obviously injuries on the offensive mm -hmm. line. There's been some quarterback issues. Where do things stand right now? Yeah, like, for instance, Dalton Stokes. Yeah, Is there a chance uh, he, he Dalton. Yeah, he's actually uh, getting an MRI right now, and and uh, so we'll find out the results of that tomorrow. And and uh, I don't want to rule him out for this week, but 
um, you know, there's a chance he could be done for the year as well. So uh, the, it's it's healed up, it's feeling better, but we want to make sure uh, that the labrum's okay. And, and uh, so we don't know about him. Uh, we do get uh, Brett Fox back. Brett hasn't played uh, a down all year, but uh, he's a tight end who started most of the last season, and, and he's had a leg injury that, that uh, uh, he was, uh, he's been back for just over a week now practicing, and we think he's he should be ready for this game. So uh, that's on the positive note. On, on the downside, uh, I, I don't think that uh, Grayson Bastion, who's coming back from a, a concussion the week prior, not sure if he's going to be ready. Uh, and uh, all of those offensive linemen who are down uh, continue to be out as well. All right, now let's look ahead. All right, Stetson as a team, which is going through some growing pains like you are. In fact, they don't have a conference win yet. Uh, you've got them on the home field. They're struggling to score points. Right. Their defense looks at least pretty competitive. Let's yes. talk about Yeah, uh, outstanding defensive team. Donald Payne, who is a uh, safety linebacker hybrid. They line him up all over the field. Uh, he was, uh, I mean, he's an amazing football player. He does it all. He, he, he leads their teams in, in tackles and production, and, and uh, he's a very, very active player. Uh, we're going to have to know where he is at, at all times, but uh, they are playing great uh, defense. Their offense has gone through some hiccups, really kind of, uh, I think, has mirrored our offense at times. You put on their film and you watch, and their quarterback's doing a great job, and they're spreading people out, and they're going fast, and, and they look uh, like they are, you know, a definite threat, and then you watch another couple of drives and they shoot, shoot themselves in the foot and, and it's very, I think, similar to our own. They've got some young guys up front and, and uh, you know, they're getting beat up a little physically as, as well. And, and, you know, this is that time of the year, that time of the season where just the injuries are, are going to mount and, and it's those teams that have depth and, and uh, uh, can, can kind of uh, fight through that type of adversity, um, can come out with victories and, and I think that's going to be uh, what's gonna? It's gonna come down to here on Saturday. You guys are able to turn around the last month of the season last year. How is the morale right now? Yeah, I think it's pretty high. You know, I think we've got a lot of guys on the team who, again, we went through this a year ago when we were able to play our best football uh, in the last four weeks of the season. So we've got that, and a combination of that and freshmen. Uh, a lot of those guys, they're just happy to be here right now. You know, they're happy to be in out and and uh, helping. You know. Uh, just getting playing time, getting experience, so uh, I, they, they bounce back really quickly. They're just kind of excited to, to get the college experience going. And so I, I think the combination of those two things, you know, if our seniors uh, and juniors can exhibit enough leadership to say, hey, look, this is what we went through a year ago and we, we hung together and we fought and, and worked hard and, and persevered and we were able to get uh, some good victories uh, um, out of that work. Good luck this Saturday. Thanks. For head coach Dave Chicani, this is Todd Eichhoff. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll talk to you again on Valpo Football Preview.